In order to add a new block to a page, all you have to do is drag and drop to either the page view or the tree panel. Hovering over the block that you want to add will add a blue outline to show what will be added to the page. So we can see here that if we hover, we get this blue outline. We can now either drag this to the page or over to the tree for more precise placement, for example, within this container. Pine Grow also gives the option to swap existing content out with a block selected from the library. For example, if we had a teen block that we added to the page, and then we decided that instead of the circular pictures, we wanted square pictures, we could simply hover over this and then click on replace it. This gives us a lot of power to be able to quickly test how each different block is going to look on our page. Note that you can swap between different blocks of the same type, different types of blocks, or even replace non-block content with this replace it tag. For some complex blocks, you can elect to add only part of the block to the page. There are two ways to accomplish this. First, you can double click the block. This will split the block up into components. Hovering over the split components will add a blue outline to what's going to be added to the page and also to the parental nodes of the selected item that will also be added to the page. This allows for selection of exactly what you want to add. So here I want to add this whole card. So I'm going to go back from the picture, back one, two layers, and drag this to the page. Now you can see that we got the picture, the name, title, and the social icons. The other option to be able to add just part of a block is to go ahead and add the entire block component, then go ahead and pick out just the portions that you want and delete the rest.